Today Lilium released a new video of a test flight conducted on October 25th. The objective of the test flight was to gather data while climbing, turning and descending at 74 km per hour, that is 45 miles per hour. According to the company, the video shows a realistic sound profile. So let's first watch the video and then we'll discuss. First of all, it is great that Lilium not only continues to test their fifth generation demonstrator, but also share these tests with investors. Here are my takeaways from the video. I believe this video shows the entire test flight. That is, the flight was very short, just over two minutes long. One of the criticisms that I've heard before is that Lilium has never done a long flight test. That seems to be the case here as well. They continue to collect flight data and have yet reached the point where they are comfortable running longer tests. In terms of the sound profile, I do not think there are any surprises on that front. We have heard the sound profile before. The noise at a very short distance is not too loud in my opinion. And when the aircraft transitions into cruise, the noise level drops further. Overall, I think the sound profile is a lot more pleasing than that of an airplane and a helicopter. The noise level is substantially lower than that of a typical airplane and helicopter as well, which is great because that is one of the top selling points of eVTOLs in general. Now, as for the sound that the exterior GoPro camera picked up, I do not think that is very helpful for us. I think what would be more insightful is recording the noise level inside the cabin because that is the sound that the passengers will be exposed to. We know that the noise inside the cabin will be lower. The question is, by how much? So, this video did leave a taste for more. I hope Lilium releases sound recordings from the cabin in the future. Now, the aircraft does seem to be highly stable during takeoff, cruise and landing. That speaks to the effective engineering of Lilium aircraft, we do need to take into account that the test flight was likely conducted at the most perfect weather conditions. In the future, I would like to see some footage of test flights in rougher weather 
as well as longer test flights in general. Overall, I'm glad to see that Lilium continues with test flights and continues to keep its investors and public in the loop on recent developments. Props goes to their public relations team. All right, I would like to hear what you think. How do you like the sound profile? What concerns, if any, do you have on the progress of Lilium flight tests? What other footage you would like Lilium to release? As always, feel free to like, share and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao!